Another day has passed. Another day has begun. Day two at the cabin. I got that. I got that. Nothing beats being out in the cold snow. You're actually just in the warm hot tub. The worst part of every trip is packing to go home because now all the fun is behind us and I have to drive home with my kids screaming and my wife sleeping. just threw up. Poor boy. Well, we just got back to the house. Lucas threw up for a second time about a half mile before we got here. And now we have a big mess to clean up. But it was a great trip. So it's about 11 o'clock on Monday night and I'm editing my vlog that normally I would have put up this morning, but you see, I edit these on this 2012 iMac. And we got back from our trip today and thought I would try to quickly get it done and put it up, but it wasn't so easy. And you see, this thing really chugs when I uh, edit these videos. And I've been keeping track on every video I make of how many times I have to restart my computer, up to 22 on this one, but almost done. <laughs> All these computer issues really make me want to get a new computer, but I have a few dilemmas. Part of me wonders if I could just buy some more RAM and milk this thing for more time. I'm definitely overdue for a new one. I mean, this thing's nearly 10 years old, but I can't decide on what exactly I want. I love having an iMac. The desktop nature of it provides a destination for where I can sit down with minimal distractions and really just get things done. But at the same time, the portable nature of laptops intrigued me for the possibility of being able to travel and take, uh, take it with me on the go. The latest version of Macs that launched last year as well as the ones that are expected for later this year have taken huge leaps in performance with the Apple designed M1 chip and I'm excited to finally get that in my hands because I know that that will really speed up the editing process of these videos as well as just everything that I do on my computer. So time will tell what I end up doing. But like most things with technology, the newest thing is only gonna last so long and I'm often intrigued by what the latest rumors for the next version might be. And this situation often leaves me in a decision paralysis of sorts, which leads me to end up just struggling with the technology that I have and continually waiting for what's next.
it for today to be continued on the next one. Thank you.